What's up adventurers? Y'all knew this video was coming. It's been a couple days now. I mean, since the 24th, uh, and that is the Traders Gilded Brutosaur mount. It's here. Um, so let's talk about it. I mean, I mean, honestly, um, I don't know how to, exactly how to pr approach this a hundred percent just because I think there's two camps of people in this argument and that is, you know, expensive mount bad. Um, and there's also like the logical argument of, um inflation and how this contributes to the further inflation of the game uh, but let's talk about this from some solutions you know so we're going to talk about some of the basic arguments of this and you talk about maybe some things as well but let's let's get the community's read on things and then we'll kind of discuss from there um so for those of you not aware i'm, I'm sure everyone's aware by now is that the uh the Traders Gilded Brutosaur mount is now available. It says celebrate camaraderie between Alliance and Horde with Yaha inspiring Traders Guild Brutosaur adorned with the 20th anniversary themed harness, crusted with gems representing the World of Warcraft's expansions. Um, basically, at the end of this, uh, it says basically add this mount to your collection and then it's in the in game shop until January 6, 2025. So, in that rises a lot of arguments. And the first one I think that is the most important, which is uh, right here uh, the people who have said they are unsubbing to WoW because of the new balance you just lost yourself a customer sorry what you've just lost yourself a customer and this is kind of um, what usually happens when like that first initial outrage um when stuff like this is released and i'm not saying that these people are wrong i think this is kind of the, the this the true irony of the situation is just like whenever they're being surrounded by money it's very hard to hear the people who get upset by this because i think especially older players who have played this game for a while have mounts that they already use that are no longer now the optimal mount to use and so maybe they, they spent a lot of time earning this mount um or alternatively maybe they just don't like the aspect of having that something someone could pay for something that they've earned you know say a, a long time ago i mean a long time ago it was and as they put in the blue post the mammoths so uh this basically says post it says um it says the, this post is aged well in the case we want to ensure the long run the years from now we don't want to find ourselves looking for and seeing auction house mounts that are just as common as repair mounts are today so um you know back in the day it was the uh, the mammoths uh whereas you you got the there's the, the two versions then uh the, the mammoths that have the repair and uh on top of that have additional vendors and how those mounts became super commonplace is that over time um things became uh not sort of necessarily directly to like wow token back then at least uh it was just that over time uh people had more access uh accessibility to gold due to gold inflation and so um because of that and, and, and a lot of that could could be contributed or uh, attributed to to bots but i mean ultimately uh people just had them and they were very common but they had this this, this very strong position back in 2019 saying that we're we're kind of tired of having these mounts that are these like these pre presentation pieces and then all of a sudden everyone's got them so it doesn't seem as important um or the other argument which was um you know everyone's got these uh, if, we, if we have auction house mounts then uh then what's gonna be the value of being in the city and having cities being filled uh, because you no longer need the city to do so um so it kind of goes antithetical to their previous argument saying that we want these argument or these uh, these mounts to be rare present but rare but then also selling something like this, um, which now has sold out the uh, the WoW token uh, consecutively, um, or at least increased the price of it um, since its release. So if you look at the oh, the WoW uh, token price, um, it's jumped up from being 200 uh, to 200k to up to 351k. Of course, this does vary depending on your region. You can check for yourself. But basically overall i mean after its initial big spike it's kind of um plateaued around the 260k mark 280k mark so somewhere in, in the midst of there so this has increased those prices but why does this matter and, and, and like ultimately like i want to i don't want to get too preachy about this situation but for, for for those of you who like paint i have a little a little graph that i hope can at least help or at least assist you in some way to understand where uh people may be coming from with this so um Basically, the process is as follows. Um, members will buy the wild token with gold that they have in their account. How they acquire it uh, is kind of uh, for debate, but it could be potentially from gold sellers um, or bots, for example. And then that price inflates. So, the, so, the, so now as more people buy the wow token with gold the as that supply of wild tokens goes down, the gold price in order to attain that wow token goes up. And then the more likely that people will start to buy 
that gold from alternative sources. So even if they didn't initially buy with a uh, alternate, like say like a gold seller initially, as time goes on, as that price continues to rise, people are more likely to buy gold from alternative sources. From the most recent, I, I just looked today, um, you're able to get um, a 1.2 million. Well, I, I did 1.5 million for about 60, like $60. So already you're able to save uh, like $30 by doing this. I'm not recommending this. This is not me saying that you should do this. Um, additionally, um, so that, that that means that as we are more likely to get gold from other sources, we're also allow, um, allowing more bot gold to enter into the system. So more gold that's achieved or done through alternative means is put into the system and then further inflation uh, to that gold is the result. And then eventually, just like we've seen uh, in this most recent um, this most recent case is that the the gold uh, the token sells out so with a token so sold out there is no longer uh effectively a way for people to to do this and then uh you kind of just wait until the token returns um because there's just, just no way for people to who don't already have the means to do it other than using um normal like normal system so it kind of it kind of in, in a way i mean uh, this might be a wrong conclusion but in a way it, it behooves wow when the the token ends up being not available um and, and does sell out for that brief moment until they start selling again and those prices come back in uh or those gold sellers come back in um putting in more tokens but this only increases the price of the token and the other the other point that i put in there is that really the, the most important thing is that this affects the overall economy. So I'll move myself out of the way briefly for a moment here. So basically, um, this is provable because as more tokens are uh, used with gold, uh, more tokens are increased. Uh, and then whereas we're, I'm sorry, where, whereas uh, if you use gold to get tokens, those go down. But as you, you get use tokens to get gold, they go up. So obviously them going out is them doing or people doing more of the latter, the, the the gold to get tokens system. This is bad for everybody because this um basically it inflates the prices of things overall. Because as more of that artificial gold goes in, um, the prices of not just for Brutosaurus, but in general starts to go up. Um, so what we effectively need is so if you're thinking about solutions, I always like to think about possible solutions to these things. Um, and in my opinion, is if you're gonna have a solution for this, I think you need to have a system in which you can have gold leave the system. So traditionally, um, I mean, you, you I, gold sinks were a way for gold to, or would be a way for them to leave the system. But effectively now, because there are alternative means to pump artificial gold um, achieved through botting into the system, it doesn't really, that, that's not gold leaving the, the game. Um, it, effectively, it's just gold being moved. Um, additionally, uh, when it comes to things like repairs, and if you want to think about it in a funny way, with the BRT raid being so tough for, for <laughs> some of the players who need the gear and, and not really tough or needed by the people who don't, um, maybe it's increasing repair costs. <laughs> maybe the repair cost is a way for the goal to leave the system effectively. But basically, if you're thinking about this from a solution perspective, and this is my my bid to anybody who would like to you know throw out a comment out there, is what do you think would be a good way for WoW to start getting some of that gold out of the system? For me, the one thing I think about is I'm not that I miss it, but I do think it was crucial back in the day to manage how you got your abilities, not on top of just getting your regular ground mount, but also getting your abilities and uh, kind of managing and choosing which ones you needed the most because you didn't have, always have the gold access to get every single ability or rank them up. Um, and I do miss that. I mean, nowadays we just kind of get them. Um, maybe that would be a system in which that would be a way to gold get out that or just maybe just making quest contribute less that way you're getting less from questing and it's not so much um but i don't think this is like a one size fit all type of type of solution um but i i leave it out i'll leave it out there you know like for, for those of you who think that there's maybe there's a better way for this to be done so additionally i mean of course there's always an argument when it comes to these type of things and so i wanted to talk about this a bit further um because um the argument i mean i think that that's been coming up a lot in the, the Reddit pages is uh, now that it's in the shop um, is that, that basically this is effectively Blizzard, you know, with their money fight, um, kind of abandoning all values in a sense, sense of like, let's let's kind of like throw that to the wayside for the sake of, yeah, I know what we said before. I know what we I know what we thought about this before and preached about this before, but it no longer applies because we're getting money. But I thought that this was funny. <laughs> Blizzard has a chance to do the funniest thing ever next month. Imagine they put this 
uh, <laughs> in, in the in in game store uh, and you're able to purchase like scaling Brutosaurus, depending on how much of the in game currency you spend. That would be hilarious. I mean, I mean that that I think I think or the alternative, which is whenever they start doing things like this um, and they start selling mounts like this, I think what they need to do <laughs> is just turn off like turn off tokens <laughs> like say like like kind of like the mcdonald's ice cream machine is broken like turn off tokens for a bit <laughs> to just be like yeah sorry guys like you know it's 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 broken the system will be broken but it'll be back up whenever the mount's gone so <laughs> so apologies for the inconvenience if if at all possible i i, I would think that would be hilarious if they put this in the store <laughs> and nothing else or, or like just everyone who bought the store but i mean my personal so if, if you're it's i mean my personal take on this and what my thoughts are on this i think what annoys me the most, uh, more than anything, is like the the room temperature IQ take of um because I have the money or because you don't have to buy it, like why does it bother you? This this comes up a lot, um, even in the forums. Uh so someone says there's legitimately no way I can think of this being good for the game. Um Heck, the old request from folks to put back the OG Brutosaur was already bad, but this is honestly worse. That's quite dramatic. Some mountain people want to buy it. If you don't want it, then don't. It's not that serious. And then additionally, someone said there's no justification. I, I can go to the city mailbox and auction for free, and I can sit in the city's 99% of the time and do queue content. Then it says don't buy it then. Because, because this does have functionality that the other mounts uh, do not. But I think if you're going to, I think a lot of, there's a lot of people who think just this way, where it's like basically like it doesn't harm you because you don't have to do it in order to be successful in the game. And then there's a, there's another camp of people who goes basically, this is um, teetering towards the edge of you're making this into a game that goes against values that not only people in the company have said, but also values that are antithetical to like the way the game used to be treated. So I think, I, I think this is the misstatement as well. And I think the soy statements of like, oh, because I have a, a breadwinning wife, like there's, there's, there's literally so many comments in here basically being like, yeah, my wife's gonna pay for my mount, so it's okay. Like it's like <laughs> the, I, the, the this is like this is gonna be the most soy take I think that there's ever been in, uh, in a WoW where it's like it's it, like it's fine and it's okay. In fact, it's a good thing because someone can get it for me. Like that that's absolutely wild. I think I think this is like like a lack of a lack of principle take. Um, and I don't I don't think it's the way that uh the the, the way that you should defend it from me you know if, i think this is like the the constant like store buyers take where it's like like oh i like it because it's cute you know move on um honestly my, my my biggest grief with this kind of take is just the fact that all it is is it, it's contributing to that the best things will come to those who buy it uh versus the best things come to those who um, who earn it and spend time doing it. I think WoW and video games are supposed to be this equal playing field where we're all supposed to be together and have equal chances um, at at doing these things. I mean, other than time, you know, time and time management, you know, I mean, as you get older, these things get harder. But but I mean, ultimately, WoW has kind of been on this path of like, we, we go down the path of basically these things are irrelevant uh, in, in gaming nowadays in that, Games can no longer be this escape where you can kind of have an evil play, even playing field with everybody else. Now it's also a class system, you know, where these things exist. And you can't tell me that these things won't be bought or purchased um, despite these principles and things like that, because people always want to show off and people always want, uh, will, will take a convenience, especially if it's given. Um, and I'm not saying that I, 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 I desire to have it the way they were. I think that I stand for the principles of, I think a MMO should be feel full. Um, and that if something is contributing to the game to where it's feeling less full, uh, AKA someone is able to auction and, and control all their auctions literally outside the eyes of everyone else. Um, then it doesn't contribute any positivity to me. Um, so I, I think that it in fact affects the game negatively because that means you're going to see less and less in the cities. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, points here i guess is what i'm saying that i think that um happen negatively because of it and whether you're coming from the gold buying argument or you're coming from the wow token uh like and how it doesn't contribute to the game positively um there's not really money for way for money to leave the system just a ways a bunch of ways for gold to enter the system and and the price is constantly inflating like like in, in if, you, if you're if you're an auction house or a trader or crafter um you need like a degree and like tons of add-ons to figure out how the system works. Whereas it used to be a system that was very manageable and very understandable. Whereas now, like if you're doing that, you're largely 
doing that because it's not it's not as easy to make a large portion of money anymore or it's not really enjoyable it's not fun to enjoy casually making money in the economy so i think that's how it negatively affects the game is that a lot of these things um i think if you're thinking about from a transmog perspective if it was transmogs um the best designs and best like graphic fidelity of some of these transmogs come from the ones that are purchasable instead of the ones that are earnable so it becomes less valuable to earn things in the game whether it be older content because like oh wow the graphical fidelity is just so poor um even in comparison to current expansion content to what's released in the store and if you're looking at it from this from, from this perspective of the mounts it's like yes it's a function that can be achieved in game but people pay for convenience and um i mean i pay for convenience all the time i took an uber on my vacation versus taking the bus or the train cost more but i got there quicker so it's like it's like in the end i'm not saying that the effort put in is necessary to get an enjoyment out of the game but i think that effort put in put in and equal to effort or i'm sorry uh, reward gains is important in a video game that asks you to invest your time constantly every single day every single month every single week um and the less and less that we buddy those values or grade those values the more that it just becomes like why are we playing this game? Like, why are we playing this game? If honestly, everything that you can do can inevitably just be bought. Um, and this is kind of like thinning the barriers. I'm, I'm not saying this affects every facet of the game. I think that you can still play this game without having to approach any of these systems, but it is kind of devaluing a lot of those uh, systems that somebody at some point comes to value, you know, whether it's something that you bought from an auction house that was really crucial for you, or that one time that someone was selling something really low on the auction house and you got it and it ended up being like a key piece that you needed. Um, I've approached the auction house zero times to, to do that kind of stuff. I've maybe had a few uh, friends in game who've crafted me stuff. Um, but I don't even feel like getting into it because it's just not worth it. It's just too much, too much investment and too much like craziness nowadays. It's not as simple as you think. And then you find an optimal piece or something like that, or it's not worth it. And nowadays it just seems like this only makes it that much less approachable for somebody who's not well-versed in it. And for the people who are well-versed in it, um, they're already benefiting from the system. So it's like, you're not going to change those people who are already buying this mount and that type of thing. I think it just kind of, all this does is it takes a game where we're supposed to come together and it just divides us. It just divides us unevenly and unfairly. So what are your thoughts on this? I mean, what are your approaches on this? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, of course, um, where do you think this is heading and where do you think this is going is, is my main thing but um i as per usual guys i i'm if you're ever wondering about my content it's it's always going to be this kind of discussion content that's like i think it's these are the arguments that we are that we need to kind of bring towards each other that way when we're talking to it from community perspective but we don't have arguments that are just saying basically like it doesn't affect you just don't buy it type of thing i think that um these things allow for the like the degradation of the of the of the of the, of the game overall so i think that people think it's already a lost cause i totally level with that but at the same time let's do what we can to at least talk about these things and show our either dislike of them or um inevitably how we can make these better for the system i think what this is missing if you're looking at it from a bare minimum perspective is just talking about like let's have some way for gold to leave the economy or have ways for less gold to be entering the economy naturally um and, and as per usual just amp up bands amp up bands There's, it's so obvious sometimes and i feel like um we see like a big wave of bands for a while and everyone's like see like they're actually doing it and then it comes back to the rest of the months and it's like oh yeah it's, it's still here uh nothing's changed effectively so um yeah that's all i got uh, i'm gonna stop rambling but um until next time may fortune favor your journey i'll catch you in the next one peace